1590, Janssen invented the compound microscope, which combines two lenses for greater magnification. In 1665, Robert Hooke introduced the term cell. He used an improved compound microscope when he examined the cork. Anthony van Leeuwenhoek used a good quality simple lens of magnification times 200 to observe the nuclear and unicellular organisms which included bacteria. He did this in 1650. In 1827, the quality of lenses was dramatically improved by Dahlen which then resulted in a peaked interest in microscopy. In 1831 to 1833, Robert Brown reported his discovery of the cell nucleus, where he described it as a characteristic spherical body in plant cells. In 1838 to 1839, Matthias Schleiden, who is a botanist, and Theodore Schwann, who is a zoologist, proposed the cell theory, suggesting that the basic unit of structure and function in all living organisms is the cell. In 1840, John Evangelista explained that the cytoplasm and the nucleus are important, not just the cell walls. He named the contents of the cell the protoplasm, which consisted of the cytoplasm and the nucleus. The term cytoplasm was later introduced. In 1855, Rudolf Virchow established the idea that all cells are generated from existing cells by cell division. In 1866, Ernest Haeckel posited that the storage and transmission of hereditable traits was the role of the nucleus. In 1880-1898, chloroplasts, mitochondria, and Golgi apparatus were discovered. In the 1900, the work of Gregor Mendel was rediscovered given the theoretical basis of modern genetics. And in 1930-1946, Development of the electron microscope occurred during this time. This was widely used in cytology, revealing details of cell organelles, which we call the ultra-structure. Many biologists contributed to the development of the cell concept. This evolved gradually during the 19th century as a result of the steadily accelerating pace of developments in microscopy and biochemistry. So here you have the history. Now you know where it all came from. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.